Good morning, everyone. My name is Todd Gale. I'm the Chief Development Officer for Applied Digital. So here we are at this massive wind farm in North Dakota, about 30 miles west of our data center in Ellendale. This amazing resource is being utilized to power our AI factory. If you look at a wind resources map, we've got abundance of wind. That abundance of wind creates a situation called stranded power. That stranded power is then utilized by the data center. Instead of creating congestion, we actually create grid stability by consuming that power. The winter time here is very cold, and that is actually very good for our data center. The colder the climate, the better it is and the more efficient it is to operate a data center especially an AI factory that uses the intense amount of power that we have at our campus. The cold climate allows us to utilize what's called free cooling, and free cooling is taking advantage of the cold air and the cold climate to cool the equipment that's inside the data center. Next, we're gonna take you on a journey of how the power gets from the turbine into the grid traverses the power system and ends up at the data center where we utilize it to power our AI servers. So here we are in front of the main utility substation that powers our campus. As you can see, slightly different from where we were out in the field with the wind farms. Behind me is the substation, and that's the substation that powers the facility, providing us with over 400 megawatts of capacity here at the Ellendale Data Center. So we had the wind turbines taking that, converting it into electrical power. That electrical power is inside the turbine, but it's gotta go somewhere. So it goes out and gets onto a power line, and those little electrons are making their way over, and they're coming here to the substation. From there, we convert the high voltage down to a lower voltage, and we run that power into the building to run all the computers that we have here at the facility. So now that we have that power going into the building, let's go into the data center and see what happens inside. We were just at the substation and now we are inside the data center. So we're taking those electrons from the substation, bringing them into the building, and we're using them to power the computers that are part of our AI factory. This facility is purpose-built just to support AI workloads. Those computers use a tremendous amount of power and that power requires cooling. And the way that we do that is through liquid cooling and North Dakota's climate which we talked about earlier, allows us to do free cooling, which leverages that wonderful cold ambient air and allows us to run as maximum efficiency and the best total cost of operation. While this is our first data center on our Ellendale campus, we see a bright future in North Dakota by bringing all these resources together and being able to build additional facilities throughout the state and making North Dakota the cornerstone for AI and the future of computing. Thank you.